Welcome to the Bio Support. This is a new series of past paper discussion. Today's questions are based on the topic dichotomous key. Try to answer the question in 10 seconds. Hit the pause button if you need more time. Let's start. The diagram shows a flowering plant. Use the key to identify the plant. I hope you all know about a dichotomous key. Dichotomous key is used to identify the unknown organism based on the traits or character. Now, if you look at this diagram, we are going to find some characters. For example, the character over here is petals. Now, let's see the petal. One, two, three, four, and five. And here you can see four petals as well as five petals. So our answer is going to be five petals. So let's move on to the next trait that is about leaf. So if you look at the leaf, check whether it's a smooth edge or jagged edge. So I found this as a jagged edge. So the answer is going to be D is the answer. Let's try the next question. This question is a little bit different. So here you can see that the key can be used to distinguish between four different chemical substances. So we are having four different chemical substances. Use the key to identify which substance could be a protein. So you should know a basic idea about a protein structure. So you know that protein is made up of amino acid molecule. Okay, an amino acid molecule should contain a carboxyl group. amino group hydrogen group and a reagent group so now we are going to check using this basic amino acids whether it's matching up contains that element carbon go to 2 yeah you can see that the carbon is found over here so we are moving to the question number 2 and contains the element nitrogen yeah so the amino group contains nitrogen so the answer is going to be b see the diagram shows a leaf so you can see the structure of a leaf use the key to identify the plant to which the leaf belongs so now you have a leaf in one piece and leaf in more than one piece so now you look look at the traits over here i can see that more than one piece so leaf edge smooth and leaf edge jagged by looking at this you can easily understand it is a jagged one so the answer is going to be d Okay the diagram shows an animal use the key to identify the animal so we are going to see the traits here front limb so this is hind limb and this is a front limb so so here you have to see how many fingers 1 2 3 and 4 so the answer is going to be this one so this is we strike off this one and the question goes to number 3 Okay now here tail with fins tail without fins if you look at this you can see fins is very clear so this answer is going to be C The diagram shows a flower seen from above Use the key to find the name of the family to which it belong. So by looking at this, you can see the feature. We have this is a petal, and you can see one, two, three, and four petals. So in quest number two, you have to find two stamens or six stamens. First, you should know what is meant by stamen. A stamen contains filament and anther. So here, one, two, 
3, 4, 5 and 6. So it's going to be a 6 statement. So the answer is going to be brass KZ. So its answer is B. Here the diagram shows a key for 5 vertebrates. Let's start from here. So first let's see the question. Which class of vertebrate does organism W belongs to? So we have to find the organism W. So let's see has legs, has no legs. If there's no legs we can easily mention the organism is going to be a fish. So from that we can understand it's not going to be uh, the organism W W is here so it has legs so has legs means then birds also have legs amphibians also have legs reptiles also have legs but by looking at this feature we can differentiate feather so when we say feather it is going to be the bird okay so next feature if you see scales so usually the reptiles might have the scales so the answer is going to be amphibians Okay, here the diagram shows an animal. You have to use the key to identify this animal. So now look at this animal. The body is covered with scales or hair. So this is the trait. Scales or hair, you know, by looking at this, you can see that hair you can see. So it goes to question number. Directly you have to go to three. No need to worry about the second question. Just move to the third one. And now you look at the feet. Is it webbed or not webbed? It is webbed, right? So the answer is going to be C. Okay, the diagram shows a leaf. Use the key to identify the leaf. Now you look at this leaf. Leaf with several small leaflets. Leaf with one large leaf blade. You can easily understand this is a one large leaf blade. So it goes to question number three. Don't worry about the second question. Directly go to the third question. And here you have to check whether it's a smooth edge or tooth edge. So it's a smooth edge. So the answer is going to be C. Okay, the diagram shows an animal. Use the key to identify the animal. Now, if you look at this animal, you can see wings is present. So, it has to go to number two. Okay, so one pair of wings visible, two pair of wings. Pair means two. Okay, so there are two wings available. So, the answer is going to be A. Okay, the diagram shows an animal. Use the key to identify the animal. Now you are going to look at the wings here. How many wings you have? They mentioned two wings and four wings. Just look at here. In this part of a side you can see two wings and the, the other side also two wings. So we say that as four wings. So the question goes to number three. So no need to worry about the second one. So here you have to check about the antennae. So this is the antennae. By looking at the antennae, whether it's a smooth or feathery one, you know that this is a smooth antennae. So the answer is going to be D. Diagram shows half a flower. The following key must be used to identify the plant on which the flower is growing. So now we are going to see the petals separate from sepals. First you should know what are the parts. This is the part we call it as a sepal and this is the one we say petal and this is ovary and this is the stamen. So first feature is petal. So petals are separated from sepals. Yes, as they said it is going to number question number two. 
So, flower with four stamens, flower with more than four stamens. In this question, it is mentioned very clearly. The diagram shows half a flower. It is not a full flower. So, in a half a flower, you can see four stamens. Then the remaining half of flower should have some stamens too. So, we can understand that it is more than four stamens. So, we are moving to the question number three. So, now if you look at this question number three, ovary as tall as white ovary taller than white so it is tall and white so when you compare it you can see ovary is taller than white so it is going to be quest number four now you can see how many petals you have so it is more than two right so so the answer is going to be plant T so the answer is D Okay, this is the easiest one. Let's try using the key to identify the orthoprot shown. Okay, so you see body divided into segments, body not divided into segments. Look at the straight here. All the body is divided into segments. So the question goes to number two. Okay, body has one pair of legs per segment. Body has two pair of legs per segment. First of all, you should know pair means two. One pair means two legs okay so which means each side there is a one leg so see one segment has two legs okay so the answer is going to be a the diagram shows a section through a flower Using the key, identify this flower. Okay, now if you look at sepals, you know this is a sepal, and this is a petal, and this is a stamen, and this is ovary, you know, style and stigma. Okay, now they have mentioned sepals present. Yes, here sepals is there, so we can go to the question number two. Okay, stamens attached to petals, stamens not attached to petals. You can easily understand petal is here and the statements are attached. So the question answer is A. Okay, let's try the next question. So as of now, we did all simple questions. Now we are going for a little bit more complex. Let's try this one. Okay, here you can see five species of mollusk. Okay, now we are going to identify each species with a letter in the correct box beside the key so now we are going to compare body is completely or uh, partly covered in a shell this will go to number two body is not completely covered or partly covered in a shell so we know that this four species have some part of covering but this one doesn't have a covering so this we say that as this E, we can call that as Limax flavors. So this is the first one we mentioned as E. Now, the remaining will go to question number two. So the question number two says, shell is attached to rock by thin threads. You can see threads, you can see the threads over here. So we can easily mention this is the answer. The answer is A. So A is the Mytilus edulis. Okay. Now the remaining three species will go to question number three. Okay, let's see question number three. Shell is a spire that comes to a point. So you can see this is the one towards the point, and the answer is going to be B, and we call that as Machinum undatum. Okay, and then the remaining will go to the question number four. Animal has tentacles and animal has two tentacles so by comparing this two tentacles we know that it's plano bees okay and uh, this has tentacles we can say no it is so this is how the answer is going to be e a b d and c